So finally, one last email from Bradley L who writes, Dear Adam, I would first like to extend my gratitude for your service to our country. I too joined the Marine Corps and graduated boot camp and ultimately became a corporal of Marines. Dun dun dun. Before I was honorably discharged in 2013 after five long years of service. Two banksters, politicians, and war profiteers, right? Okay, just making sure. I am proud to have you as my brother Marine and fully support what you are trying to do. Well, um, Bradley, uh, yeah, I appreciate the camaraderie of having a you know, similar experience, but I hope you will be able to see past that to the brotherhood of humanity in a broader sense eventually. As much fun as we can have as former corporals of Marines and all that happy horse shit. Um, I have just recently become aware of this movement fighting for our rights and have spent hours upon hours obsessively watching YouTube videos showing police corruption and violation of our rights. Now, I, I just want to point something out, and, and there's some, uh, I had a, a bit of an epiphany a few months ago when I decided I was done with bad cop porn. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, you know what you're doing, that when you just sit around and watch a lot of bad cop videos, you're just like indulging in something that's, um, you know, emotionally gratifying and reinforcing your pre-existing beliefs and not really enriching your life in any way. It's just a sort of emotional wallowing or crude gratification, you know, like porn. So um, I'm glad that you've done your research and there's plenty of value in it in, in showing people how to interact with cops, but just spending a lot of time doing it. I see a lot of people wasting time with that. It's kind of sad now. I then found your YouTube channel and I'm now committed to joining the fight and making a difference in this country of ours that we sacrificed years of our lives defending. Well, if you really thought that you were defending this country, oh, Oh, you got a little more research to do. I would hope that you would start by reading our book, Freedom, especially the section on soldiering, which really is um, speaking to the very personalized aspect for any individual who has been in the military or is considering joining the military. Bradley goes on. I would like to ask you, where do I start and what should I do to help you and your community fight? First of all, do not fight. Do not see this as a fight. It is not a fight. It is a glorious evolutionary process of empowered human beings coming together to lift each other up. When you see it that way, your activism is guided by that. You can't go wrong. What you resist persists. And if you fight the system, it will get stronger. If you build a new one, if you build a new paradigm, of cooperation and peaceful coexistence and not turning to the violence of government to solve problems. Then we'll see real progress. So I would ask you to start, again, just read the book. Educate yourself on this a little further. But even something that you can do now that will be very important in activism is to talk to those around you about what you're experiencing. If you're going to sit around and watch YouTube videos, do it with a friend. Bring people along, especially those in your family. If they love you, they'll at least listen to you and hear your reasoning, and they'll get to go through this process with you. If you do it alone, you might find yourself at odds in certain ways and facing different challenges with those around you, and they will greatly appreciate it if you lead them and be a leader, like a leader of Marines, like a corporal in a squad. Guide those around you, talk to your family, talk to your community, and bring them through this glorious process together. I have the utmost respect for you and wish you the best and thank you for your time. Oorah, my brother. His words, not mine. But oorah to you. Anyway, Bradley.